quorum sensing in bacteria in plain English. Many people think that bacteria are simple, primitive organisms that live an asocial life due to the fact that they are single-celled microscopic organisms. This, of course, is incorrect. Although these microscopic organisms are often single-celled, in groups they are capable of carrying out an array of processes from motility to biofilm formation. How is it that these seemingly simple organisms can do such amazing things? The answer, simply put, is by communication. Bacteria are able to communicate with one another through a process known as quorum sensing. Quorum sensing is a phenomenon in which bacteria produce, release, and detect chemical signals. The chemical signals are known as autoinducers, which are represented here by the black dots and are similar to hormones or pheromones. When a bacteria is in a low cell density population, it still secretes autoinducers, but the density of autoinducers is lower. However, when several bacteria are in the same population, this is known as a high cell density population. As the bacteria detect the rise in population density via autoinducers, they in turn secrete more autoinducers proportionally. When the amount of autoinducers in the immediate proximity reach a certain concentration, they pass a threshold and the cell's receptors become fully activated due to the saturation of the receptors. Activation then induces transcription of certain genes. A major division in bacteria is the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria based on the type of cell envelope. The kind of bacteria determines the autoinducer that it produces and secretes and also the signal components within the cell. Gram-positive bacteria sense and secrete oligopeptides and have a two-component signal transduction system. In general, the peptide is secreted by an ATP binding cassette transporter that is found in the outer membrane of the gram-positive bacteria. Detection of autoinducers is controlled by two-component adaptive response proteins known as sensor kinases. The interaction of peptides with the sensor kinases causes a series of phosphorylation which results in the phosphorylation of a response regulator protein. This activates the regulator, allowing it to bind to DNA and alter transcription. Gram-negative bacteria sense acyl homocerine lactone with LUX-I and LUX-R complexes. In general, the acyl homocerine lactone signaling molecule is secreted by a LUX-I protein. Once the critical threshold of autoinducers is met due to the saturation of the receptors, LUX-R proteins bind to the acyl homocerine lactone molecules. The newly formed LUX-R autoinducer complex then activates gene transcription. The bacteria Vibrio fischeri uses gram-negative quorum sensing and the LUX system to generate bioluminescence in the squid.